bikepacking trips don't always go to plan, as I'm sure you'll know. I'm sure everybody watching has had issues while out on a bikepacking trip, uh, and I'm no exception. I'm here in the countryside in Wales, and I was starting the Trans-Cambrian Way, which is a 100-mile route through the countryside of Wales. Lovely scenery, a lot of off-road uh, in winter, so I was hoping for some really good footage. And I've got some good footage, to be honest, already, but unfortunately things haven't gone to plan. This isn't the first time I've filmed a bikepacking adventure go wrong. If you'd like to see the first video that I made when something very bizarre happened, just click the card on the top right-hand corner of your screen. I've been thinking to myself as I've been sat here sorting my bike out, maybe I should turn these bikepacking goes wrong sort of adventures into a series. I've already got one and this is obviously going to be number two and I'm sure that I'm going to have trips in the future where things go wrong. As you probably know I bring out a film every single month so I try and do at least one trip every month. Sometimes I'll do a few and then batch them but even so there's no guarantee that they're going to be right all the time. So I thought why not turn them into a bit of a series. If you like that idea give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments because I'm sure that as time goes on I'll have more and more of these unfortunately to put in and turn into a nice series. So what's exactly happened? I've made it to Wales, there was no problems with the trains for a change. If you've been watching my channel for a while you'll know that I've been pretty unlucky with trains in the past but no absolutely fine. All I've had is a puncture which you might think, well, that's something you should obviously prepare for. Well, I did. I brought inner tubes with me. I still run inner tubes on this mountain bike. I've not switched it to tubeless. This is the first puncture I've had on it. So to be honest, I haven't felt the need. But the problem with these extra thick plus tires is that they're pretty difficult to get on and off. The bigger they are, the more of a challenge I've found. Um, so I was ragging the tire, trying to get it off, put the inner tube in, finally managed to force the tyre back on but in doing so I may have accidentally broken the free hub. I was putting it on the road and giving it a good kick because it just can't come on even with tyre levers so uh, probably my own fault. I didn't realise that had happened in all honesty. I was cycling and it felt fairly normal. I've got a lot of weight on there so maybe that's why I didn't notice uh, but I felt the tyre was a little bit soft so I started pumping up the inner tube. The weight of the bike meant that it fell, out, fell over while the pump was still in the inner tube and as a result that sheared it off. So I only then noticed the free hub issue when I changed the tyre again which has left me with no inner tubes and a slightly wobbly rear wheel. So from my perspective I could keep going. The bike's working, it's slightly wobbly the, the rear wheel but it's probably not sensible. The bike is in excess of 50 kilos with all the stuff. It's all off-road, or most of it is off-road, and the signal's not great. So my options are keep going and hope for the best. I could have a problem, I'm then stuck. Yeah, I've got camping equipment, but last thing I want to be is stuck in the middle of nowhere with no way to keep going or no way of contacting anybody. Or the other option is to go back five miles down the road. I've done five miles in three hours. That's how slow this process has been today. So I've kind of lost my impetus to keep going as well. So it's just one of those things. I'm going to put it into a video anyway. I'm still going to bring out a bikepacking film this month. So don't worry, this isn't the only one. But it is a bit of a disappointment. Thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you've got any thoughts or if you want to uh, give me some well wishes. And uh, hopefully see you in the next video. Cheers.